Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect, where in the previous episode we start construction on our third and final cell block for this part of the map. We do plan on expanding to the left, but that probably won't be until the next episode. What we want to do in this one though is to pretty much finish off what we can see here. So we need to clone the common room, clone the visitation, add in more things in the staff room, and then finally put a wall around the outside with some road gates and barriers, because I just think that would be a fairly decent idea for security purposes anyway let's go ahead and double check over here we can see that the pipework is being placed not yet completed but they are getting there in terms of needs we can see that the majority of that has been filled there's still some comfort need and warmth need has been fulfilled as well we can also see that the utilities oh, hasn't actually been built there which is why the hot water pipe doesn't run over to that section which is interesting we also need to do the same thing for the solitary there as well but for the most part this is pretty much getting there we do have a bit of a problem actually several of them 60 of them in fact um and that's that these prisoners as you can see do have some interesting behavior we are looking after the prisoners none of them have gone over i would i would probably say over even the half level of agitation they've certainly not gone into the red bar when things really start going awry and that's well I know there's been a couple of people say, let's just ignore them and see what happens. Well, that's sort of not the point. We will obviously do some extreme testing later on, uh, but that's not going to be now. At this stage, we are obviously trying to look after the prisoners as best we can, as is what we think is right. But what we do have a problem with is in the regime. Currently, we only have two hours of programs slash free time. Technically, work slash programs slash free time. But that means... And in our programs, we're running some of these consultations. We have some in the queue. And, well, hopefully we can get past this event, which we do have a total of 64 hours and 8 minutes to finish off with. Yeah. If we don't get that over with and we don't have time to run these sessions, that could dramatically increase the agitation rating across the facility. But we'll have to see how we get on. So it looks like the water pipe is being placed. It is still ordered there. There's just the odd little bit that hasn't been done. That looks like an overdose there. It is an overdose. And destruction lockdown. But they are overdosed as well. Do we have a guard to come to take them? They are going through the pharmacological treatment of drug addiction with a low success chance. And I'm concerned that nobody's going over there to treat them. I'm going to manually tell someone to go over there. And the doctor's not really t spending a lot of effort going there. Oh, it looks like we do actually have a guard come over. That's fine. What I'm going to do, go to staff, doctor, hire one more doctor. Because at the moment, we only have the one and... Oh. Is that an orderly and a guard that was going to pick them up? I think that might have been. Anyway, going over to our bureaucracy, we are going to start to research land expansion. We also have guard towers, which we don't need. And I would like to get the offshore tax haven, but that's 50 grand. And I think we need that money to finish building the rest of this. But anyway, we can see that the... Yeah, the prisoner Alex Moss has been treated, which is perfectly fine. The reason I hired another doctor is we've got more prisoners now. And if you have the two... The two doctors go on a break and they have an overdose you can have people die and we have seen that in a previous series let's go over to our water pipe here and we're going to run a water pipe across and along get that all sorted there just to make sure that we've got heating in this area as i said it's not imperative that we have it in around there because they're only uh, very briefly in the visitation we also haven't built the extra visitation like I mentioned a couple of episodes ago because I just don't think we need it for the amount of prisoners that we have. We also haven't got any people in these offices here. Obviously they are set to be... What's going on there? Gareth Nowell stays agitated, currently having a poo it says, and then going into there for no reason I'm guessing. No, I'm guessing what they've actually done is nicked something. Let me search the prisoner there and what I'll do as well is check on our dangers. It's cell phones, booze, SIGs lighter, fountain pen and a gold pocket watch. So, yeah. I guess having those there is always going to be a bit of an issue. We are searching them so I, I'm going to guesstimate we'll find something on them. No, no. Fing accusations around where they're not uh, needed there. Anyway, let's go ahead and 
put in the water pipe because for some reason that one little section was omitted. Let's go over to our quick build and cloning. We're going to clone this area. We will rotate it round like so and then flip it, which means it should be perfectly aligned. And yes, it is. Excellent. Do very much think that that is, mm, oh, that'd go fast, uh, the best feature that they've introduced in recent times. So we do have two grants, Refund Through Education Initiative. We can't do that simply because that requires us to have people pass Foundation General Education courses and these prisoners do not want to do that. We can see that there's the Foundation and there's the General and they have no interest in that at all. We also have not done... Well, we've not done a lot of things in terms of grants. But... And same program, sorry. Guard tears that we could do, but I don't see there's any point yet. Also, it doesn't seem right. Same as putting barbed wire on the walls and stuff around here. It doesn't seem right for this facility. Double checking our grading. Four prisoners have been released, but we are receiving three prisoners. Don't know how that works. Uh, unless this was not completed when we received the original intake. But there you are. Let's go over to our common room and we'll quick build and clone. And I'm going to clone on the outside. Now the reason for that is that the lights are in the wall. So we'll have to rotate this round and do we have to flip it? We we do have to flip it. Although is that correct? Yes. Yes it is correct. That can go in there. And then while we're on, we're going to copy this. Rotate and then flip. And then as long as the doors ma match up, which they do, place that in there, and then there's that job done. Excellent. That is what we wanted. We also want to increase the size of the kitchen and canteen. And Oh, they're actually deleting the wall there. That's different. I didn't know they would delete the wall. I'm not too concerned. It's very easily fixed. In fact, they've just done that. It looks like they deleted it where we've got these bits on the outside there I've got the the lighting so perhaps that is why anyway programs are running still doing the prisoners demand less work even though it's not work but there you are and cleaning is still underwear too you can see it's a lot cleaner now where's that prison going back and forward it's going back in there and out and there and out and I don't know why anyway Let's go to utilities, hot water pipe, across and then down, and a small water pipe will run up to there, followed by the large pipe running up to there, and then that's all that pretty much sorted. Same thing for each of these visitations and common rooms. They are putting most of the stuff in. There's still a bit of a space there, but I don't know what else we can put there. I don't think there's anything else we need to put there. In terms of needs, most of that is fulfilled. We've got more than enough exercise facilities. We've got not only the yard that can run around in, although to be fair, they tend to run around pretty much anywhere, some of these prisoners. And we've also got the weights benches, which apparently is, yeah. Apparently this person is probably wondering why they're not losing weight, even though they came in here with loads of bacon on a tray. All right, go up to that one, and that is done. That is good, and also, Strangely, no power in there. Huh. Cool. Let's uh, run power in the back there. Not that we need to run it all the way to the back, but it uh, is following the same thing as that for the lighting purposes like that. Even though we don't need it, but we'll do it for... Well, just for sake of doing it. Just for the art of doing it. That's sorted. That requires some hot water pipe to be run. How will we run this one? It runs down and across. Well... There's no real need to run it differently. We don't need it in anywhere around here. Let me force that open for the worker there. Oh, they're actually there and trying to go back. Strange. So it looks like that door... Ah, the doors haven't been rotated. No. See the doors? No, no they haven't been rotated. The doors don't rotate properly. Okay. Okay. The reason I'm dismantling one is because I want to double click and put that there. And then I can place the door back in. So yes, the doors do not get rotated properly or flipped properly as far as I could tell. But anyway, that's a very, very minor thing. 
a water pipe run across like so and now let's spend some money laundry machines one two three we will place next to the laundry machines a bin and then hmm, this grid's gonna get slightly warmer so cookers And there we go. Oh, that's actually wrong. One, two, three, four, five, and then a bin in that corner. There we go. A lot of money spent, but hopefully spent in the right place. We will have to run electrical cable in like that. That should be all connected up. We also need to remember to place some fire extinguishers. What are they actually called though? Sprinklers. Sprinkler. Now we've got them there. That may do, but I'm going to place others there as well. Just to make sure that everything's fine. And there we go. That needs to be connected up. The water pipe is not automatically placed like you get in the other ones. But, as you can see, all the cooks are now using that. But, what you can also note is that that power plant is quite, quite warm. So we probably need to do something about that. There's five criminally insane inmates about to arrive, even though that... Oh, seven have been released, so we might get a grading shortly. 30 days until the prisoners demand less work. And sadly, it doesn't look like the library can be staffed. Oh, those are all working there, which is good. So, they're using the weights benches, they are using the arcade cabinets, so the, this is a decent room, that actually works. Oh, I thought someone was, thought the janitor was going to go in there to sort all this stuff out, no. We've got a guard working and sorting out the mail. We can see that all the laundry stuff is working. That is fine, and then prisoners being escorted. So there we are. We, by the look of it, do not need any more food. Apparently they're serving prisoner uniforms, which may be more nutritious than most prison food, but anyway. What I'm concerned with is the grants. No, programs. Spiritual guidance, good group therapy. Psychiatric consultation, six in the queue. But we can't run any more. Well, we can, but the prisoners will kick off. Can we do that? Oh, we can! We can do that because... We can hire... How many How many hours is it? 10 to 11. And we have 11 till 12. Oh, we're fine then. We're fine. <sighs> okay. And... Oh, prisoners are actually sitting outside. And the reason for that is... It is now spring. Current weather sunny. 21 degrees C. So, now that it's nice and warm, prisoners are very happy to sit outside on this lunar landscape. Which we can only see. These four bits on the yard. The rest has been concreted over. Basically, it's like as if the Imperial Guard have turned up... Everything gets concreted. Go! <laughs> right, what we want to do now is spend a bit more money on some walls. And what we're going to do is run the wall across and down. And then to this edge here. On the outside of that, we will put... That's in... Oh, it's in walls and doors, obviously. A road gate will go in there. And another road gate will go in there. But a road barrier will be placed there. And then there. And I know that's 20 grand of barrier. But. I think that is. Money well spent. What I'm also going to do. Is go over to rooms. And remove the storage. That we had set here. There's no reason to have the storage in here now. Because that was when we had all the light problems. We do have enough space in this area to, to keep that. We will place some automatic door openers on this area and this area. And obviously the gate is just a stop. Uh, sorry, the barrier is there to 
put up in case we have prisoners trying to run around. But here's the problem. Most... That was really the only way to get out. But now prisoners can jump over the wall if they've got strong. And very strong. And also, they can go over the wall if there is... A rope on it. Yeah. The only way to stop it... Or to make it harder... Is to use the... Where is it? Perimeter wall. Water pipes and electrical cables cannot be built underneath, apparently. But the perimeter wall... What it doesn't say there is... Harder to go over. Don't know if that's the case, because it doesn't say there. But to be fair, neither does any of the rest of it. Because there's till tips are, quite frankly, garbage. Um, what we can do... Is place some barbed wire. But... For a psychiatric facility, it doesn't seem right. It just doesn't sit with me right. It's why we have sedation and things like that rather than taser rollout. There's that wall put in. Road barriers in. And has that been changed? One of these... I'm convinced you had to put bits either side of it. Hmm, questioning myself now. Utilities, door servo. Door servo can go there. And door servo can go there. In case you've not seen it before, if we go to bang up. No, lockdown, sorry. See the road gate close? <laughs> and it opens. Yeah, that is just, it is just a big barrier thing that goes across. So, over to utilities, electrical cable. We need to run the electrical cable towards that thing. We'll do that. Same thing on this side. Like so, and then we'll connect them up. But I'll wait until they've been placed first because, well, it's impossible to do it otherwise. Let's go and place that one in there. Not that it matters really on that one. What happens is, when the van spawns, if it's within, it's if if the length of the van would go past this gate, it basically just clips through it. It's just how it's always been. I don't know why, just how it is. Whereas the bottom one, they definitely need the. The extra one we put in. So, because they'll come down and stop, whereas you don't want a guard having to run down all there to all the way down there to get that sorted. So, that will be built, and then we'll connect this up. And there's not actually a lot on this road opener. And if we look on that, we've only got what, probably six connections. Top and the bottom, so that's four, including these ones here. No, one, two, three. No, there's only three in the middle. So, three in the middle. Four, five on the top and the bottom. Yeah, five connections. I mean, I think we've had entire prisons on that before. We've had full prisons just pretty much set to only use the door servos and all that. That's something that I really want to try and accomplish at some point. Use, build a prison that is, uh, or that uses rather, where is it? The remote door only. So you can, you have to use the door servos and have it so that there's the minimal amount of staff in there so it's all cctv it is say like guard towers things like that we don't have patrols in the main body of the facility we have them around the outside but we can see in but then you have the line of sight problem where looking through windows if it's based on looking through windows doesn't really work because of, well, I don't know why it doesn't work, but we place a window there. If you are on the outside, you don't think you can see, and it's, it's something to do with the foundation -y stuff, but yeah. Anyway, that's now set up and all connected. Let's go to deployment and then staff only. Set that bit to staff only. That bit's already staff only. That should be staff only too. That bit we can now set to staff only. Same as these external pieces. We are running electric cable across there. These are set to... They were set to insane sec. I mean, it doesn't really matter because they don't get run anywhere. That's all set to normal. I'd be tempted to set all of these to insane sec, but if I do that across the board, A, when we get some people coming down and going in... Actually, no, that wouldn't, it wouldn't really matter. I was going to say that there might be some problem with people coming in and not being able to be assigned, but every single person is criminally insane. That we bring in. So the only problem would be when we do a skateboard. It wouldn't escort us to 
where we need to go. That electric cable is apparently not connected up. That's why that's the case. That one is strangely the same. It's in the same place. It does say in progress and doesn't say it's been failed a couple of times. So that's actually okay. So in terms of our needs, needs are good. Spiritual Spirituality is good, yeah. Drugs and alcohol are right low, which is quite good. Although there is a high need for drugs there. Literature and luxuries are quite high. Literature and luxuries, however, we can't fulfil the need of that. Because these prisons don't work. It would be an interesting test to get, when we expand, some normal security prisoners. We can then get them to work in these rooms, which would then supply the then supply the books to the, the criminal insane inmates. That should be possible. Because I don't think there's any reason why they couldn't. In the previous series when we first got the dlc we we had them as like a little separate island and the bridges all glitched out and things like that. that's just yeah and by and by but we had them separated but we didn't need to do that i don't think i think what we have now is perfectly acceptable and then you can put some added extras but i mean it should be able, you should be able to uh, staff these with your own staff rather than have prisoners working there. Same as you can do with the laundry and the other things. Just a bit strange there. So we're going to speed up to max speed here. We're going to do a shakedown tonight because we haven't done one in quite some time. I don't know what else we really need to place. I'm going to double check objects here actually and go straight into here. And we can see that no, sadly the leather sofa is not required. Oh, sorry, it's, re it's required. It would be very nice, but we don't have the ability to place it. Let's do a full shakedown here. 448 places to search. I'm going to hire two more staff. Two more of the guards, actually. In terms of the staffing, it's going to be quite high. 22 grand in... Well, that's prison value. But in finance... Guard wages is 2,100... 50. That's actually not too bad. I thought I'd have thought it'd been a lot less. Corporation tax is 15%. So if we get over, if we get over 50 grand, we can get that extra grant done. To offshore tax haven. And eight prisoners being released, but we're receiving two prisoners. I thought it was seven before. My mind fails me. Maybe I should be in the facility myself. Let's see. Prison bus coming along. They always like to sit at the back of the bus. Got Felix and Gareth. Hard to see there when it's moving. There you are. And they'll be escorted in. And they'll do all the usual stuff. We have got our visitation here. Bailey's father, age 68. Ranger's father, age 53. And Bray's wife, age 32. And there's Ranger coming along very quick. Although it is sp we have to speed this thing up a bit. And there you go. So needs of family is going down. I believe that these visitor booths here do have... They don't have as much as an effect of the standard ones. The standard ones you do get more effect of, but also contraband can be passed over, whereas at the moment... It cannot be. Contraband, when we find stuff, we're just taking off them. They may get locked down for some of them. Can't really remember. We get locked down for weapons, tools, and drugs. We're not punishing for luxuries. We just take them off them if it's contraband. It's like mobile phones and things like that. I wonder what the standard procedure is for mobile phones in prison these days. I really don't know. <coughs> Obviously, the game... It's made to be more of a, what you would call an atypical facility, not not supposedly not modelled on any particular nation or ethics. It's just more of a generalisation of prison life. But anyway, uh, power station's running hot. That can go kaboom here, and that's something you don't want to see. Or maybe you do, but I'm not. I'm gonna try and prevent it. So I'm going to spend a bit of money here. And what I'll do is 
I'm going to alter the grid so that we'll power up all of the kitchen and potentially more with this new one here. Very easily power the water pump. But I think we'll leave it as is. What we'll have to do is cut all of the cables there and then bring them along here. That's what we'll do. So dismantle utility. All of that. Mm, yes. And then we're just going to cut all of the cables here. There will be some problems and some overlap. Well, we'll have to put in some more stuff, but it's not too much of an issue. I'm just going to recable this thing. It's all getting removed. That's fine. Well, my door opener will stop functioning as well as the metal detectors, but we don't have any income. Or intake, should I say. That's now powered on. You can hear that. What we'll do is run it down to there. Like that. And then connect all of them up there. And then that still has all of the connections that we want. It powers not only the laundry, but also the kitchen and takes a big strain off that. Wow! <laughs> um, it actually takes a lot more off than I thought. That is ludicrous and... Hang on. Prisoner Clegg again. Christopher Clegg. Looks like there was a bit of fighting there. Seems to have stopped. Prisoner Speed is holding on to the prisoner uniform. Status calm though. I wonder if that is one of the behavioural things where they just want to grab onto things and hold them and carry them around for whatever reason, comfort or something. There's all that connecting up. We'll know when it's done eventually. Right, finally, the warden. Prisoners are settled down now so that we can now put them back on our usual policy. So, regime, program slash free time. There you go. And I'll wait until it is 2 o'clock and then I'll reschedule all the programs and that should be that pretty much done. So there's a 2 o'clock. Lock up and programs, reschedule all. And is that grid just blown up? I've just blown the grid up. Okay. Capacitors all the way around the outside. Slightly... A little bit more money than I would have wanted to spend there. And there we go. Wow. So, the laundry and the kitchen and these two metal detectors accounts for half of the total power rating on one power station with all of the capacitors around it. Whereas, running the rest of the facility... Which is still not a lot. It's quite. It's, it is a small facility, admittedly. On the other grid, the original grid, we're running two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve metal detectors, one door control system, and six boilers. Hmm. That's interesting. I just realised this. There's no power in here, but there's still lights. I think that's why. I think that's why, because we've put in these wall lights, but they don't require power. So, very interesting. Prison grading. Eight prisoners being released. Sadly, yeah. No extra ones. Let me double check. I'm going to run around. We're going to see if we can find... Actually, no. We'll wait until it's sleep time, and then we'll go around and see if there's any prisoner that is due for release shortly. So that's in there, that's in there. The water is in there for the sprinklers to stop the fire. We haven't put an extra sink in, but I... I was going to say I don't know if we need it, but there are three... of the cooks using that, so maybe we do. Let's run that down to there. And the water pipe down to there as well. 
sorted. So it's currently sleep time. I'm going to go around. I'll go down. I'm looking for prisoners that are very close to finishing their sentence. There's a 3.6 of four years there. But I'm wondering if any of them are pretty much ready to finish. It does say 12 prisoners are up for parole, but as we've seen, no parole is run with these. At least there's no interest when we look at the programs. So, so far, not many. Uh, that's not too bad. <clears throat> not seeing anyone that's in immediate. There's someone left there. There's space there. 5.5 5 or 6 years. Christopher Clegg. Okay, we'll keep an eye on you, Chris. Prison, prison grading. So yes, we are receiving a criminal incident, mate, but when we, one's left, but not left. So Clegg will leave in the next day or so. So let's have a quick check. We'll have to keep an eye on Clegg as best we can, but we're going to be switching between the thingies here. So looking at heat, that's all fine. Not too warm in visitation, but it's fine. 20 degrees is perfectly acceptable. It's 20 degrees everywhere, that is fine. Temperature in there is good. Ambience, 9. Don't need any more things like that in the staff room, but I do want to place more stuff in the staff room. And... In terms of... Dangers, we know that these are a problem. You can also steal jail keys, buttons, and SIGs from the security room. But if you're brave enough to do that, then fair enough. Fountain pens as well, which seem to be a new thing. Can't steal anything from there because it is classed as staff only, I believe. Just double checking the staff only designations. Seems to be fine. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. We'll pause that. And Clegg's gone somewhere. Oh, you can actually see it there. Mail opened. So at least they are getting that. There's our prisoner intake. Sean Barsby, by the look of it. Just the one. Strong, criminally insane, depressed, sickness addict, extremely volatile and psychopathic. Eight prisons being released. Ten prisons must be released before we check the report out. I mean, we can have a... There's Clegg there. They're close. So we're going to check Clegg. Punishment is five. So, yeah. Ah, one penalty is 33% of stay in free time. Well, that's because they can't work. So I guess we could... Could we just put work instead of work slash free time? We probably could. Reform is one. Because they're not doing many programs. Security is high and health's low. Because they've got an active addiction. Hmm... Okay, let's try and change that then. Regime. Shower time, then it's free time. I would say yard. Let's go to yard there. Then it's program slash free time. You can have work lock up. So, you either work, in this case do programs, or you have lock up. I think work free time is probably the most realistic one. Fire in the kitchen! And there we go. These sprinklers down here are not on. Nope, they are now going on. I'm purposefully not calling in any fire brigade. It worked. Right, that's that's good. Not as eventful and ex and exciting as when you have an actual proper fire in here. Well, it was it was an actual proper fire. We saw it. There was two of. Overcooked. But not as exciting as when you have to call people in. But preparedness. Happy with that. Right. One last thing then. Staff room. Let's check what we can put over here. We've got chest of drawers. We've got large TVs. We've got leather sofas. I mean, we've got like radios and stuff. Is there any real need? putting any of this in 
Not really. Not really. Oh, chest of drawers. A wooden chest of drawers. Like, why would you... Is there any need for it? I don't know, but I'm going to put them in. Just because we can. There we go. I mean, it, it just looks like... Uh, yeah, socks go in the top. Pants in the one with the double bottoms for the... Uh, for your T-shirts. Um, it does look like some sort of... That doesn't look like office furniture. It doesn't... <laughs> yeah. Look... Not right. It's not recommended a stack tie yet. Do you want a pool table in the staff room? I don't think so. There's not much we can really place in here. The bookshelf might not be bad. Bookcase short. Simply because... I'm just going to put more sofas in. Simply because, like, it could be accounts and things like that. Although, I guess that would go in the accountant's office rather than in here. We don't need final cabinets. And that's where you probably put them as well. Drinks machines we've already got in. I'll place a couple more, though. Radios, it's recommending. Could place them in. In between these. Like so. And that'll probably do it. We've got other things like doormats and stuff. I mean, there's no... Is that someone fighting there? Totem? I think, yeah, they did. They broke in the drain again. For some reason, they really don't like drains. We've had that in the in the previous <coughs> episodes where they, for some reason, always hit the drain. So, checking programs once one last time here. Spiritual Guidance, 90 in the queue. Alcohol Group Therapy, 10 in the queue. Pharmacologic Treatment, 1 in the queue, but it doesn't show where. It just means there's someone there. 8 in the queue for the psychiatric consultations. We will start some more of that then. See that there? Why is that doing that? It must be because some of the prisoners are busy at other times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. It's not shifting them about. We'll have to rearrange that. We haven't done GAD test certification. We're not going to do that yet. If at all. Behavioural therapy, there's only the one. Don't think that's worth it. Because we'd have to build a separate room. We may, when we expand, put it in that side. General education qualification and foundation can't do. Carpentry and workshop safety and the kitchen safety and hygiene. Same thing. And... 14 prisoners up for parole, but parole hearing zero in queue because they don't do it. So, I think we will leave it there for this episode. Next episode will expand. Next episode will mainly be about expanding, placing in the walls and everything around it, and then planning. Most likely the planning first, I guess. But at a minimum... We want to make sure that when we expand, we have a gap all the way around the outside to stop the cotton band being thrown in. Even if we just extend the wall and have this as the lunar surface, it doesn't matter. The problem we may have is that the further we go to the left, the more the cooks have to carry the food across. It's quite easy to get across, just straight across there, but... I don't know how we're going to get on with that one. Either way, we will see. Not bad at all. I think this is episode 8? 9? 8? Hmm, something like that. And we have got a fully fledged, fully built and working 100% Kremlin Saint facility. How many? What's the hours play time? 4 hours 33 minutes. Not too bad for that one. Got patrols, got all the staff. We're in profit, in good profit, in fact. We've overstaffed it in some cases. So, yeah, good. Still the quirk here and there. Still the problems with certain things. And, whoa, there is... See that? Hold away. States agitated. Look at the speed at which they're running. Wow. I think that oddly is trying to sedate them. Because they're holding a syringe... But as the janitor wants to go in and out of here, they're having to let them in. So they're splitting the time between being a locksmith <laughs> uh, and trying to sedate them. Oh, there we go. Sedation level is increasing. Yeah, 
there we are anyway we will leave it there next episode as i said planning and expanding to the left as always if you haven't enjoyed the video on the series thus far comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings